Charity's 27th season. Race two in each of those categories, plus the Super Sports, he won. Barry Russell will be in the analyst chair again for today. And Barry, let's start with the circuit before we look at the cool middle section that leads down to that all important and infamous turn 12 in this TBS One Make series. TBS One Make series here for the third consecutive season. Conditions today a little bit hotter, uh, not as humid, but certainly hotter, pushing 40 degrees centigrade uh, for the track side and the asphalt temperature pushing 60 degrees. Above 50 degrees is uh, is a challenge for the tyres because that is such an extraordinary temperature for them to have to deal with over this eight lap race. Should be, it shouldn't be too much of a factor. As they get off on their warm-up lap, we can have a look at the grid. Yeah, Hiroki Ono, as you say, several minutes in this last day of race, including the season opener yesterday. He's on pole position. Ramdan Rosley, Pushkin, and the fastest of the second group of Indian races. Yeah, and uh, surprisingly down on row four, Borapong Malohuan, the 2022 champion. Next to him, Chirant Vishwanath, and outside of him, debutant from the Philippines in this class, Casey Klammer. The ageless Jagank, says Hiroki. And it's a long wait in the heat, but now the red lights are on. And we are a go, and it's a good start by Ramdan Rosley. Hiroki Ono was late to the party, and he's also just been beaten into this first corner by Ramdan Rosley. That's good work by the Malaysian. Yeah, brilliant start from Ramdan Rosley. And I saw Rocco Sessler making an aggressive start as well. He's moved himself up through the middle of the field, but at the Froki Ono already. Uh, and he's got well, Sartak and Ramdan for company. I'm delighted to see that Irvin Exan and Kim Min Jae have got off to solid starts. They may be near the back, but uh, for Irvin yesterday, he had a problem in the formation lap and barely got off the line yesterday. So good for the Singaporean that he is up and running. But Hiroki Ono, we said yesterday, Ono is good enough to break away from everybody else. He didn't on race number two, but has been caught up going up the hill into turn four. Yeah, they got him in the slipstream and uh, two bikes, three bikes have gone off there. One of them is down. That is that's a, a long, long slide. That's a tall rider, but I can't tell you which one it is. Oh, is that Rocco Sessler? It looks like that's Sessler. Looking out of the back of this pile. Oh, he just loses the back end. After a bright old start as well for Rocco. Yeah, that's and he had to leave the pack. So three riders. Advantage there. Absolutely. That's good work by the young Indian racer. And he's got a, about a, a 20 in the lime green. We'll be calling it yellow helmet. Takes the inside line. Zartak is forced to stand up. And Randa tried to go through on the inside. Other rider down. Right, so that's two casualties already. Hopefully just winded. I think that's Irvan Exam. But... something because he's gone way, way, way off the racing line. Oh, oh Rocco Sessler, he slides out. I hope Irvin's okay. Medics over there were, were quite urgent in um, getting somebody over to him. We'll give you an update as soon as we possibly can for Irvin Exam. Back over the front, though, Sartak continues to lead. Hiroki Ono is uh, P2. And Mazike Mohamed has slicked himself nicely into P3 in the white helmet. Here yeah, looking confident this weekend. as well. I am enjoying the fact that we've got so many new races in this TBS One Lake series. And, uh, the tension to things as Ono takes the lead coming into the second corner. And uh, Japan 1-2 going over the line at the quarter point of the race. Yeah, Ryushi Takahiro is really strong in free practice. Uh, we were looking out for him yesterday. He finished just a little way back. Only 1.6 seconds in back from the Rokiono yesterday. But a really promising rider. We've seen him in, uh, in the cups around the region. Tough competition wise. Yeah, he looks like he's in trouble as well. Ramdan Rosley is there. Ono has gone a long way back. And it just looked like he pulled out of the line. 
we could have an upset here for Hiroki Ono. Jean-Dan Rosley inside to take the lead and waiting to see how Ono has reclaimed uh, a little bit of form and he's back in that mix there. Maybe it was just an error from Ono. Yeah, you don't see too many unforced errors from Ono. I don't think there was anybody that caused him to go off that the uh, cameras weren't on him at the moment. But then Rosley just moved ahead of Sartak at the front. Ramdan is there. Oh, it's human. After all, he's not an AI version of uh, a motor racing <laughs> a motorcyclist. <laughs> Fantastic. It's good for the series because there was a, a danger that Ono dominated so much. Now Ramdan and the new boy Sartak are able to make up. He looks like he tried it okay. It just looked like it was a mistake from Hiroki Ono. Very aggressive move out, although it didn't really help him there from Rishi Takahira, probably having a look for what he can do the last time around. He just oh, very tight here at uh, Boram. Yeah, I think that is Kagea coming up through there, number 11. Was uh, quick and at the front all the way through yesterday. Ended up six. A really promising young tie rider, Atty. I'm Dan Rosley. Leads the way. And that P2 yesterday. It's a solid start to the season. An always competitive racer. Ramdam. On you drive as we come into the final part of the race and then there's a problem. I tell you what, that's a shame because Richie Takahira had ridden very well. Yeah, yeah, he was up there all the way through until that mistake. Zakia Mohammed. Rocky Ono once again. That is beautifully done. It's a win number two for Ono. He's got there ahead of Sartak Shabam, who will be on the podium once again. Muzike Mohammed picks up points again at here. And Ramdan Rosley, four and five. But Hiroki Ono, I asked you beforehand, who do you think of this? Hiroki Ono takes it uh, 1.6 seconds, sorry, 0.16 seconds clear of Sartak Shabam. Muzike Mohammed in P3, the defending champion. That's a healthy weekend for him. Ate Kanga, nice debut weekend for the young Thai. Ramdan Rosley, as always, is in P7. Kewe Ahmed down in P9. Casey Klammer, that's a good performance by the debutant from the Philippines. Just beating off Jagan Kuma in a battle between them. Kim Min Jae doing well to pick up P12. Nearly a minute down. Crashing out were Takahira, Irvin Exan, who had a, a, a disastrous debut weekend. Weekend, and Rocco Sessla, who I'm sure will learn from the experience here at the uh, Boyram circuit.